Yeah, obviously disappointed in the outcome. Um, I knew coming into this game we were going to learn a lot about ourselves. And uh, it's a, the one thing to keep in mind. It's the fifth game of conference play. A lot of basketball still ahead of us. We've got to learn some lessons from this. I thought once we started really playing aggressive and attacking the baseline in the fourth quarter, we started to see some things happen for us. Um, we needed to have that mentality from the start. And then you can't give up 87, 87 points or, uh, defensively. We'll look at the film and get better from it. Um, but, you know, Toledo's a really good team. Um, felt like we were prepared for what they had and um, came up short, and we'll learn from it and move on. I mean, playing Toledo is is always great. Obviously, you want an, an, a different outcome. But like Coach said, we're learning a lot about ourselves. And um, we haven't met this kind of competition in the uh, MAC yet. So it was good. We'll learn from it. And then just what really was Toledo doing there on defense? Because it looked like a lot of times when you guys were on the offensive side, it was really a fight to try and score. And just was there anything that they're doing in particular to you guys? Um, I mean, they're athletic. They were guarding our ball screens differently than we've seen this year. So that was a bit of a challenge for us. And then just being aggressive with the, as much pressure as they were putting on us. We hadn't seen that before, especially in the MAC. So, um, yeah, I mean, we just got to change our mindset and be more aggressive, play our game. And then, Jenna, what do you hope that you guys can take from this game? Um... Just that we we still have a lot of room to grow. Uh, I think today we definitely did not play our best, and I think it was a lot a, li a little too late. And we just we didn't like Coach said we didn't attack early enough and get fouls put them in foul trouble early enough. And like Katie said, their icing ball screens which threw us off off offensively. And I think we just need to look at the film and learn from it. But. Definitely didn't play our best, so we can we can beat that team. But today just wasn't our day. Yeah, we didn't coach our best either. Like I I I, I got to get better with what we with what we're doing as well, and putting them in situations to be uh, more successful as well. So I mean that's that's uh, it starts with it starts with me and, and our coaching staff and putting them in a little better better position to be able to be successful as well. And just what's the benefit of a quick turnaround to like get maybe the taste of this game out of your guys' mouth and just. You guys are playing Akron. Just what's the benefit of just turning around real quickly and <coughs> focusing immediately on another game? Yeah, it's nice. Uh, you know, Coach always says it should it should burn a little bit, but you gotta kind of have it in the back of your mind, but also turn your focus to the next game. And we can't be you know in our feels, but it's nice. Uh, takes the focus off it, I guess. But like I said, it's still gotta hurt for a while. And then the last one for me, just really for both of you guys, just going up against Akron. What's exciting about playing in a rivalry game like that? It's always fun playing Akron. We get a lot of fans, and especially playing over there, the atmosphere. Uh, it's always great playing there. What really stood out to you from tonight? Because, I mean, when you look at the box scores, a lot of you guys are – a lot of the stats were very similar. The one that really stood out to me was the turnovers. You guys had 10 of them compared to their five. But was there anything maybe not that, that's not on the box sheet that really stood out to you? Yeah, I mean, we've been doing a better job of turning people over. You know, to the, you know, they they did a really good job of controlling the basketball. We got to turn people over more than five times, um, and be more active defensively. So disappointed in our defense. Um, I thought they 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 did a really good job of executing what they wanted and getting what they want wanted. And and it seemed like um, we didn't execute as sharply as they did. And and um, like you said earlier. Um, our scores were more difficult than theirs, and so um, we got to figure out how to turn that next t next time we play them. But 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 also for and, and, and for our games moving forward, um, you know we have to be more rigid in those situations. The other thing I'll say is that's the best Toledo's played in the last couple weeks. You're watching them on film against conference opponents. They obviously um, this was a this was a game that uh, they really stepped up and played at a higher level than they've been playing. Um, and it showed tonight for sure. And then just what was, I mean, the rotation and the size from Toledo inside, it seemed like they were subbing people in and out and just they were always able to stay fresh. Was there any challenges with that, with just them able to get down low and just almost score effortlessly down there? 
Yeah, I don't think that really was it. I mean, their their bigs haven't been scoring like that against other people. I think they just, uh, I think they they just some for some reason, um, no, they get up for playing against us for some reason, I guess. But uh, I mean, Sophia Wired's obviously a great point guard and that type of thing. We can't we can't give up forty points to her. I mean, her her. I was more concerned about her effortless score uh, effortless scoring opportunities than I was the bigs. They're going to get some of that, but that's not really to me what beat us. That beat us late. But wired throughout the whole game is really what uh, really what beat us. Point guard play. Is it just one of the challenges of playing three games in a week for you guys? The, it, there's no challenge to that. I mean, it's like we play three games in a tournament sometimes. Um, when we get uh, when we get to Cleveland, um, we're going to play three games in a shorter period of time. So um, that's just part of it. I, I don't think there's a, necessarily a challenge to that. It's our job as coaches to manage that and understand who's playing major minutes and how to manage their legs a little bit. But um, other teams are doing that as well, and, and that's all part of it, really. And the last one for me, just you've been in a lot of these Akron games. Just what does that rivalry mean to you? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a – I mean, I, to be honest with you, I, I haven't put much thought into it. Um, I, our focus has been all in Toledo. Um, obviously, every every year the home and away series that we have with the school down the road is – is uh, is is a great one. It's it's when you're in that close of proximity. Um, obviously, it, it fuels a rivalry. It's great for both both schools and and for our team to be able to play in a rivalry because not everybody every player gets to play in a, in a in like a rivalry like that. So we're excited about. I think we're excited about it, but we got to learn from tonight and be better and be focused on us. We're not as we're not focused on Akron as much as we are getting better ourselves. So. Um focused on going into this game so that the flashes could have won? Yeah, I mean, uh, really our, our game plan early on was to really try and attack them downhill and, and, and uh, you know, try and get better transition baskets. I mean, we just, um, you know, fast break points were limited on both sides to five and four, although I think those, those stats are a little bit off depending on what you consider, um, you know, fast breaks. But, um you know, a lot of those points, a lot of those um, things, uh, you know, Toledo beat us on 12-2 to 2 on points off of turnovers. We just didn't turn them over enough. We weren't disruptive enough. They were able to execute their stuff and get what they wanted. So our focus was to be much more disruptive defensively, and that did not work out. That's probably my fault more than theirs. Um, but they also have to apply the energy to it to, to, to do the job. And you talked about there were multiple lessons you could learn from the game as a team. Besides the obvious one, like scoring more points, what are one of the lessons do you think the team can learn from coming out of this? Uh, I mean, the lesson that's that's pretty point blank to me is you have to be the aggressor from start to finish. And I thought Toledo controlled tempo um, for pro at least two thirds of the game. And um, and we've got to we've got to make sure we get in these big games moving forward, and we're going to be in some other big games. We got to make sure that we're the team that's controlling tempo and controlling the pace of the game, and not playing, um, not trying to adjust to what they're doing, as opposed to them having to adjust to us. Okay, and then lastly, can you talk about Jenna's game a little bit, and since she was the top scorer? Well, Katie had 26, but Jenna had 17. But yeah, yeah, Kate. I mean, both of them. I mean, that's why they were up here. Um, they both they both played well. I would have liked to seen a little bit more from the rest of our of our bench. But Kate, Katie, um, the the Katie came out and was ready to go from the start. Okay, and I thought that of all of our players, um, I really felt like she she tried to set the tone. She had 15 first half points. Got in foul trouble early. You know, if she hadn't have been plagued with foul trouble, I think she could have scored 35 in this game. But, um, you know, she, she just didn't have enough of her teammates jumping on board with that type of aggression and that type of uh, intensity that she had. Um, Jenna in the second half really picked things up, and we had two players that were really aggressive and, and, and looking to score and get downhill and do some things. So, um you know, once again, when, when, when Katie has 26 and Jenna has 17, we should win. We should win. And it's just the defensive side of the ball really let us down. Anything else? Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.